Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the Findor Moon channel. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the three and three quarter inch Cara Dune vintage collection figure from The Mandalorian. And first off, can I just say how absolutely incredible this figure is? Honestly, um, I know I don't have my my Mandalorian vintage collection figure in the mail quite yet, but uh, but really this this figure, oh my gosh, it might be. It might be the best um, vintage collection figure that I've seen since the since it came back, uh, the vintage collection in 2018. It's just uh, amazing, and we're gonna dig into all the reasons why here in a second. But first, I want to start with the card back. Uh, as you can see, it's got a nice kind of teal blue background, which is uh, which is really nice. Complements the the character very well. It kind of matches the colors on her on her uh, armor, jumpsuit, whatever it is. Um, the name, you got the name pill right here, as you can see. I love how the Mandalorian font looks on the vintage, the vintage card back. Um, I just think it looks sleek, looks nice. Uh, the image that they used of Cara Dune or Gina Carano, uh, who plays her in the show, uh, is really, really cool. It's one of the promo images, uh, cause I'm sure that they were trying to keep everything under wraps didn't want to send actual stills uh from the production but um but yeah i mean still it, it's an amazing uh picture of her captures her likeness very well um we'll turn to the back here we got a lot of uh attention to detail warnings and yada 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 um but then here we have the other figures that are in the wave as you can see we have the uh, previous wave that was kind of like in between the the Rise of Skywalker and uh, Mandalorian. Uh, Yavin Leia, Sith Trooper, Shadow Trooper, Jawa, which I kind of count the Jawa as part of the the Mandalorian wave because I felt like there was a, a, a multi multiple reasons for them to release it. They were about to release a content that was um, very Jawa heavy. Um, I mean, well, I guess, yeah. It, the Rise of Skywalker at the very end, spoilers, if you haven't seen it. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go ahead and click off this video for or mute it for the next 10 seconds. There's Jawas at the end of that because they're on Tatooine. Um, and then the Mandalorian uh, has off-world Jawas, which are a different color and have red eyes. But uh, And, you know, of course, we needed the Jawa as part of the original 12 on the vintage card back. So... There was multiple reasons for them to release a Jawa in the vintage collection uh, right now, and it was a good it was good timing. So uh, I have that whole wave, and it's incredible. Um, and the top wave, uh, which is the Mandalorian wave, got that clone trooper. If you guys tune, uh, if you guys have been on my Instagram uh, to see my figure photography, you will see that I have a few of those, and I absolutely love that clone trooper. Um, I've been army building it. I think I have like four right now. Uh, the Remnant Stormtrooper, I also have that figure. Uh, uh, that's probably going to be coming in a review pretty soon. Um, but it's an amazing figure as well. Uh, Mandalorian's on the on the way. It's in the post uh, on its way here. And then Cardoon we're looking at today. So that's, uh, oh yeah, and then VC164 uh, in the corner. And that's about all we've got for uh, the card back. And so let's move right on to what we're all here for the actual figure. And I'm going to move this out of the way so we can kind of get a better view. But yeah, as you can see, she comes with two accessories. She comes with her big blaster rifle, a uh, heavy repeating rifle. Uh, it does have a strap so you can hang it over her shoulder. Uh, and then she has her smaller blaster pistol here which fits nice and snug in her holster right here um the black series six inch version uh, has a vibra blade that she that can come out of her boot uh this one's molded in it doesn't come out unfortunately uh, i guess it's just too small of a detail but you know what that doesn't really bother me so i'm going to take her blasters uh out of this cool pose that i had her in and uh, go ahead and take those off and go through the articulation. So 
as you can see, she has a ball jointed head and it's one of those that has like the double pin, like a, a peg that goes in the head and the peg that goes in the, the neck. So it's like got really fluid motion here. <laughs> and uh, it, yeah, like big range of, of movement. I don't know if you can see up under there, but yeah, that's what's going on here. And, uh, but yeah, so she's got a ball jointed head. She has a ball jointed torso, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, and she has hinged um, wrists as well. She has uh, ball hinged hips. She's got a swivel at the thigh. So yeah, the ball hinged hips, swivel at the thigh. And then she has uh, ball hinged knees and she has hinged ankles. So uh, that's, that's as far as, that's pretty much all she's got as far as articulation. But, uh, but as you can see, very, very heavily articulated, uh, great figure. Now, as far as the paint application goes, oh my gosh, her paint application is incredible. Uh, I like that they got her uh, jumper tattoo, her shock trooper tattoo right there. Um, the paint on her uh, uniform, her jumpsuit, is uh, very clean. Like there's, uh, I don't know if anyone else is having problems, but it's very clean on mine. Uh, I don't see any bleed over anywhere. Uh, they did a great job. I mean, like her knee pad right here has like some scuffing on it, but I think that's intentional. She got some weathering on her boots. Um, make it look like she's been tromping around places. She has some weathering up here on her chest plate, on her shoulder pads and stuff like that. And what's really cool with the with the face printing uh, is that they got her likeness really, really well. Like it's it's incredible what her likeness looks like. So I honestly think that this figure looks better than the six inch version of it. But I love how you you even got her face tattoo, and her face doesn't look quite so grainy as some of the other um, face printing three and three quarter inch figures can look a little grainy, but, uh, but hers doesn't. She looks, she's clean. And it's a really, really, really great figure. And so, yeah, she's also got some, some weathering on her wrists. So I'm gonna set her right here. I'm gonna hold up her blasters. As you can see, pretty standard. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the model blaster this is, but uh, but it's just kind of like a little small handgun uh, that she can she can have that can fit pretty easily into her holster right there. Yep, it sits pretty snug. Um, yeah, and it's a really cool little blaster now this blaster is honestly the one that i was most excited about i mean look at that thing i mean we already know that gina carano means business uh whether she's acting or otherwise but that blaster it's got kind of like a nice wood wood stock detail and wood uh grip right here and the rest of it's kind of like a brushed gun metal um the strap brown strap right here uh, looks like there may be a little bit of weathering here on the barrel, but, uh, pretty detailed little gun, like the grooves on the, on the ammo clips and stuff like that. Uh, she's got a little handle here where you can hold it, so she can hold it with one hand like this, and then one hand on that to hold it up, to let you know that she's, she's packing, packing some heavy artillery here, heavy weaponry. But, uh, yeah, and then she can... She holds this gun very well. Almost like it was made for her. <laughs> yeah, and so she can put her hand on that and then just holds it. And man, look at that. Just an incredible, incredible figure. 
I couldn't be more pleased with it. But yeah, honestly, uh, as far as vintage collection figures go, uh, 10 out of 10 for me. I love this figure. Such a, such a great one. Uh, Hasbro, keep up the good work because whatever you're doing right now is, is totally working. Well, that's, uh, that's all I got for, for this video. So if you would like to see more content like this, please, uh, give us a like in the, in the description below, subscribe to our channel. I'm, st I'm starting to get more active on YouTube, uh, especially since we're, uh, this pandemic is going on, going on. It's, uh, you know, it's good to have things to do. And so I figured, you know what, why not jump back on YouTube? Um, if you would like to see other content that I have, I'm, I'm also very active on Instagram and Facebook, so please go ahead and give me a like, follow me over there uh, at Fendor Moon. I do a lot of figure photography um, at, in accompaniment to uh, book reviews and, and just different things like that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for all your time. Uh, hope that you have a great one. May the force be with you. Godspeed, Rebels.